know how to introduce your family members in English? Let's dive into this topic and expand your vocabulary. Knowing how to introduce your family in English is a valuable skill. Maybe you're working on a school project about your family tree, or perhaps you're meeting new friends and want to share a bit about your roots, or think about the times you're traveling and strike up a conversation with a fellow traveler. In all these scenarios, being able to talk about your family members can help you connect with others on a personal level. In this video, we'll explore the basic vocabulary for different family relationships. We'll learn how to introduce our parents, siblings, grandparents, and even our extended family like aunts, uncles, and cousins. Plus, we'll practice describing simple characteristics or activities of each family member. Now, get ready to learn some new words and how to use them in sentences. Let's start with the people closest to us, our parents and siblings. Now, these are the individuals who usually form the core of our family. You typically interact with them on a daily basis, and they play a significant part in shaping who you are. First off, we have mother and father. These are pretty straightforward terms that refer to your female parent and male parent, respectively. So, for instance, you might say, my mother's name is Sarah, she is a teacher. This sentence introduces your mother, gives her name and mentions her occupation. It's a simple yet effective way of talking about a family member. Next, we have brother and sister. These terms refer to your male and female siblings. If you have a brother, you could say, I have an older brother, his name is Mike. In the same vein, if you have a sister, you might say, my younger sister is called Lily, she loves to dance. Here, you're not only introducing your siblings, but also sharing a bit about their interests. It's also worth noting that you can specify the age of your siblings by using the terms older and younger. For example, my older brother Mike is a football player, or my younger sister Lily is a student. This gives a bit more information about your siblings and helps paint a clearer picture of your family dynamics. Additionally, if you have more than one brother or sister, you can say brothers or sisters. For example, I have two brothers, Mike and John, or I have three sisters, Lily, Rose, and Daisy. This way, you can introduce all your siblings in one go. Remember, these phrases are just a starting point. Feel free to add more details about your family members to make the conversation more interesting. Maybe your father has a funny hobby or your sister has an unusual pet. These little details can make your introductions more engaging and memorable. With these phrases, you can now introduce your parents and siblings to anyone in English. Next, we have our grandparents, the elders in our family. Grandparents often hold a special place in our hearts. They are a source of wisdom, love, and sometimes delicious cookies. Now, let's introduce two very important words, grandmother and grandfather. The word grandmother refers to the mother of one's parent. Similarly, grandfather refers to the father of one's parent. These terms are universal and apply to both your mother's and father's parents. Let's put these words into sentences. Imagine a lovely lady who enjoys spending time in her garden, surrounded by vibrant flowers and the sweet chirping of birds. You could say, my grandmother loves gardening. Her name is Martha. Martha is your mother's or father's mother and she has a fondness for nurturing plants. On the other hand, picture a wise old man, perhaps sitting in a rocking chair with a book in his hands. You could say, my grandfather is retired. His name is George. George is your mother's or father's father, and he now enjoys a peaceful life after years of hard work. Remember, you can replace Martha and George with the names of your own grandparents and their hobbies with their actual pastimes. You just learned how to introduce your grandparents in English, sharing a bit about who they are and what they enjoy doing. Now you can talk about your grandparents in English. Now let's move to our extended family members. Understanding the different terms used for extended family members can be a bit tricky, but it's a breeze once you get the hang of it. Let's start with the basics. Your parents, brothers, and sisters are your aunts and uncles. For example, you might say, my aunt's name is Lisa, she is a doctor, or my uncle's name is Mark, he loves cooking. The children of your aunts and uncles are your cousins. You might have many cousins or perhaps just a few. You might have a cousin who's the same age as you, and you might have one who is much older or younger. A simple way to introduce a cousin could be, I have a cousin who is in college. His name is Paul. Now let's talk about nieces and nephews. If you have a brother or sister and they have children, those children are your nieces and nephews. For instance, my niece's name is Sarah. She enjoys painting. Or my nephew's name is Alex. He plays soccer. Remember, all these family members are part of your extended family. They're the relatives beyond your immediate family, but they're still very much a part of your life. 
You celebrate holidays together, you share family traditions, and you create wonderful memories. Also, keep in mind that every family is unique. Some families are large with many aunts, uncles, and cousins. Other families might be smaller with just a few extended family members, and that's perfectly okay. Each family is special in its own way. So, practice these new vocabulary words. Try introducing your own extended family members using these terms. It's a fun way to learn, and it helps you share a bit about your own family. Great job! Now you can introduce your extended family members in English. Let's recap what we've learned today. We embarked on a linguistic journey to meet and greet our family members in English, starting with the immediate family. We met our parents and siblings, learning words like father, mother, brother, and sister. We also highlighted a few characteristics and activities to describe them. For instance, we learned to say, My father's name is John, he likes to read books. We then ventured into the realm of our grandparents. Remember the words grandfather and grandmother? And how we could describe them? Like, my grandmother's name is Mary, she loves to bake cookies. Our journey didn't stop there. We expanded our family vocabulary to include extended family members too. We learned about aunts, uncles, cousins, and even nephews and nieces. And yes, we didn't forget to mention how to describe them as well. For example, my cousin's name is Lisa. She enjoys playing soccer. With all these new words and phrases, you've broadened your English vocabulary and your ability to introduce and talk about your family in English. Remember, the key to mastery is practice. So don't hesitate to use these terms and phrases as much as possible. Now you can confidently introduce your family members in English. Keep practicing and expanding your vocabulary. Until next time.